Welcome. Thanks for joining Painting with Mike. My name is Mike. I'm your host. This is a step-by-step -step how to on how to do some oil painting or wet on wet technique style. Uh, it's very easy to do. It's really not that difficult. It's a little bit of different techniques and once you figure it out, it's really, it's really easy to do. So um, let me go through the equipment. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a good easel. Uh, there's going to be times that you're going to be pushing some paint into the canvas so you want to make sure you got a good firm easel um, if you have like maybe an aluminum one that's kind of bouncing on you you can actually tape it to a step stool and it'll keep it a little bit firm for you uh, the next thing is you want a decent canvas this is a 16 by 20 it's double primed and it's pre-stretched so you don't have to worry about making your own you can get these at the store i get them in bulk sizes so you can save some money on them and it's uh, pretty much my go-to when i'm practicing and stuff like that so i recommend that uh, the next thing is you're going to want natural hair bristle brushes uh, you got to make sure these brushes have natural hairs you can get them at hardware stores if you need to save some money or you can upgrade the arts artist type brushes but make sure they're natural hair and you're going to want a two inch brush. I have a one inch brush. Uh, this is a number six fan brush. And a number two strip liner. As well as a number 10 and a number five palette knife. You're also going to want to have a uh, decent sized type of palette because we are using. Uh, these big types of brushes and so there's all you know different things you can use you can use like paper plates or you can use a sheet pan or whatever all different types of things out on the market and the paint that i'm using is very firm and thick paint as you can tell any sliding or moving or anything like that and what i mean by that is when i first started out the paint that i got was a little bit too loose and i go to uh, you know, I'm painting and I go to use the color and all of a sudden I can't find it and it's sitting on my foot. It literally slid off and landed on my foot. Um, so you want to make sure it's firm and you can tell by the way it sticks up there. Um, the other thing is I use odorless paint thinner or mineral spirits when we're washing the brushes throughout the, the painting. We are using oil paint so you don't want to mix any water. Um, so that's what we'll be using as well as a medium. And I mean, I just want to let you know that literally I'm a, I'm a nobody. I'm a loser. I has been, I never was, and I can do this. And so I, if I can do this, you can do this. I know there's people that do have disabilities, but if you can hold a brush, I'm telling you, you can do this. Here's my hand. Follow me along. We can definitely do this together. I think you're a beautiful person. I want you to do a beautiful piece of work and be proud of it. And that's the thing is it's always been your fear. You move that fear away. Inside of every one of us is a doorway to this creativity that we all have. You just need to get rid of that fear. And today's the beginning of that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply what's called a white medium. Um, essentially what it is, is it's linseed oil that's mixed with whatever pigment paint you got. So we're going to be using white. I already have some that's pre-made. Uh, here it is. Um, this is actually pre-made and store-bought. There's tons of it on the market, but if you have to make your own, just use some linseed oil and you can mix it with whatever pigment. Um, so when you apply this on here, okay, you don't want to paint this on here. It's got to be scrubbed into it. You don't want a layer of this sitting on top of your canvas. So you're going to scrub this in and just keep scrubbing it all in. And it's going to be a little hard if you, you know, to tell if it's on. You may need to move your head or so to get like a glare. You'll notice it then. And you just keep, you know, nice thin, thin, thin them out and it will just You'll be surprised how a little goes along with it, okay? And so we just go ahead and even this out by up and down strokes, up and down strokes, up and down strokes, okay? And to test if you have enough, you just simply 
do a fingerprint test. If you got that on there, you're good to go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush. It is, uh, once again, using odorless paint thinner. And I got a bucket over here. It's got a pole in it and I just beat the devil out of the brush like the old man Bob Ross used to say. Okay, the colors that I'm using, which I forgot to tell you about, is titanium white, Prussian blue, I'm using Midnight Black, Van Dyke Brown, Lizard Prism, Sap Green, Cad Yellow, and Yellow Ochre. And with that, we'll go ahead and rock and roll. So we're gonna go ahead and do some slabbing and dabbing. So slide this out, get yourself a, some paint on here, and you're gonna just slab that stuff right in here. Okay. I might have a little too much, there you go. And I'm just gonna go right here. And you can do X's, you can do circles, or whatever you want. Just make sure these corners up top here and here are nice and dark, and then just work your way around it. And what's nice about using this white medium is I don't have to mix all these different colored tones of blue on my palette and then transfer it up there, it's on there. So allow the, the medium to work for you, okay? So I'm using firm pressure and then I'm um, lighten it up and lighten it up and lighten it up. You wanna be light down here at the horizon, dark up top, okay? And I think we'll have some, some water here. So let's go ahead and get some of this in here. You want these strokes side to side. All right, we'll go ahead and get this just in case we want to side here. All right, that should be good enough. We'll go ahead and wash the brush again. Once again, I'm using odorless paint thinner. I have a bucket here that has it in there with a uh, with a screen actually. You can just rub it up against the screen and beat out the excess. Let me move this over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna start from right here and work my way up. I'm just doing nice little soft X molds. Just that strokes like that, X strokes, X strokes. And just working my way up. And then down here. Go ahead and make some clouds and we'll use my number six fan brush here. And just come in and, and just make some clouds. And so you just gotta move the brush. Don't be afraid of it. Just move it, just move it. Maybe a little bit more. And we'll go right here. And that's it. We'll go ahead and clean this. You'll notice that I do a lot of brush cleaning, so it's something you want to get used to doing. A lot of brush keep cleaning, keep these brushes nice and clean. I'm gonna grab this two inch brush. Don't worry about the tops of the clouds, don't touch those. We're gonna work the bottoms of the clouds, okay? We're gonna work down here.
and just just blend it out. Nice little small tight little circles. Get everything blended. Okay. Feel like I got a little too much on there, so just beat it out. Don't want to need to clean it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fluff these. Beat this off. Not too much. There we go. And there you go. And there's some clouds. Okay. Go ahead and grab my palette knife. This is a number, I always forget them, number five. Okay, I'm gonna grab some blue. I'm gonna just grab this right here. I'm gonna grab some black. And a little bit of this red. And mix this pretty thoroughly. Nice dark color. And pull it out like so. We're gonna go ahead and make some mountains. So you're gonna get a nice roll. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. There it is, right there, okay? You're gonna apply this into there, okay? And we'll just do a nice little, nice little simple peak. And as you're applying this, you wanna scrape. You're essentially putting the paint in, you're pushing this in firmly scraping it off as you can quite hear it right there okay try a little bit like that Take my two inch brush, you can use a one inch brush. Now don't worry about the lines up top, okay? That's what you want, actually. Don't touch those. We're gonna basically just smooth this out right here. Is here. Okay. I think we'll just do some basic white caps. And so I'm going to use my little knife actually with this one. This is number five. So I'm gonna take some white here, pull it out nice and flat, okay? And then, let me show you that. Clean the knife so you can see the nice roll on there. Okay, that's the roll. See that there? That's what you want, okay? So you're gonna hold this, best way is like this. Hold it with two fingers or keep it very, very light. You don't wanna put your finger on here. You're gonna put too much pressure. You want to barely touch it and slide and glide, okay? And by doing that, it's just gonna pull off what it needs and it's gonna be perfect. Just very soft and slide, 
Slide and glide. Just like so. And it does everything for you. I'm gonna get this little peek over here. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. That's it, it does everything for you. You literally just have to just touch it and just let it rock and roll, man. I mean, it just does it. That scrape right here that you're hearing is because I ran out of tape. That's what that scraping sound is, okay? So you don't want to touch it. Just barely, barely, barely get in there. And that's it. And you'll find that when you work a little bit faster, you get a little bit better grooves and stuff. See, I worked a little bit slower, but over here, man, you get some nice, nice little things going on. Okay. And we're going to go ahead now and mix a highlight color. So I'm going to take some of this white. I'll put it right here. I'm going to take some of this blue. more there and then I'm gonna add some of this mountain color to it to gray it out a little bit and that should be a nice color there and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the, the shadow highlights here okay and it's the same thing we want this direction so we want to go in this direction There's your shadows. And by kind of doing like that, it's giving them like a nice little valley area you can probably see. It's very, very, very nice, very simple. It's just by dragging like so. Okay. On every there you go. Pretty much every highlight gets its own own shadow the best you can. Don't kill all the dark though. You definitely want the dark. Dark's good. Okay, and I'm gonna go back and just re-highlight re it a little bit with the white. Pull it out once again. And here's another thing to show you how thick this white is. See how thick that white is? I mean, Okay, that's how thick you want the paint. And then we're just gonna come back and start highlighting again, have some fun with it. Yeah, you can redesign it right there. There you go. I just want to add just a touch of that original mountain color just right here we go. Maybe on the little 
spot, one more spot right here. If you start doing these mountains, man, you get pretty addictive. Just want more and more and more stuff in here. There we go. some mountains. We're done. What we're going to go ahead and do is try to fizz, fizz these out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just crunch it. You kind of want to stay with the angle. This way, this way, that way, that way. Just at the bottom here. Just at the bottom here. Okay, I'm gonna beat this out. Okay, and then follow the angles just like you did. Just go up soft. There we go. Nice. Fade it. I think it looks really nice and misty. Alright. There, there you go. There's mountains. I'm just going to clean this because it is a little too much. Let's go ahead and use the fan brush. Let's make some a nice dark color. Actually, you know what? Let's use the one inch brush and make ourselves some foothills. And I'll go ahead and use. Uh, let's go ahead and just use that little bit of that mountain color, actually. Just tap it in, just like that. Tap, 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 tap. As you can tell, I haven't planned the painting out, so I'm just painting as we go. So, a little taparoo. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and make some foothills. You're just gonna tap like this. Have some angle with it. Excuse me, and then we're going to take this same brush, just a little lightly come this way. Very, very softly touch. Put in these little foothills. Before we go back to here, just with this real softly, real softly, just go up, up, real soft, little strokes, and it'll look like little tiny trees. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this now. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Okay. And kind of by putting that soft color in there, just, you know, you're able to have that separation between this, 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 and just plane after plane, and that's what you're looking for, okay? And then you want to take this once again, and just lift up, and just lift up, and lift up, and lift up, and lift up, and it literally looks like tons of little trees, so it's like this nice little forest and you haven't done much at all and it's all in there okay we're gonna go ahead and take this brush right here or two inch brush and we're gonna 
punch this out like we did the mountains, the same thing right here at the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and miss that out. Missed it out, missed it out, missed it out. Okay, since I have dark blue on here, I need to beat off that brush. Okay, and then we're gonna softly, from the bottom up, we're just gonna take out those little tap marks that we did. Okay. And the more you sit there and do it, it will give this nice little misty thing. So when you're sitting there doing it, just be careful because it can get addictive. Okay. And all these little things that come up here when you're doing it, go with it. It's a natural little thing. It's like these little, just extra little stuff that's there that just happens naturally. Just kind of go with it. Like that, like this stuff right here. Just go with it. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it at least. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's do another layer. I'm gonna add a little black to this now. Same pile, I'll just add some black. I want this a little bit darker. Okay. And yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, just keep crunching it in. And I think we'll go right here. Let me get a little bit more of that dark. There we go. Okay. Same thing as before, lift up, lift up. Same thing as before. Okay. We're gonna go ahead now and make some water actually. You're gonna take this and just Straight down, straight down. Straight down, okay? And now we're gonna go across. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of a uh, water line here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this liquid, the liquid medium that we did, okay? 
I don't want it to be straight white, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of this black in here. There, I don't want it to be straight white. And we'll put in a little bit of a waterline right here. When you're doing this waterline, try to make these lines as, as straight as you possibly can. It just doesn't look right if they're not straight. So there's some mortar lines and stuff. Just doesn't seem right. There we go. Straighten that up. Okay, let's go ahead and let's put something nice right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same dirty two inch brush. Probably put this fan brush down now, so don't need it. I'm gonna do a go ahead and use um, some of this midnight black and some of this vanite brown. I want a nice dark color, and I'm pulling down, down, down on it. We'll go ahead and do this and come up, and we're gonna put in some uh, some kind of trees or something. Let's do something right here. Uh, there we go. And all I'm doing right now is just blocking in with some nice dark color, and then we're going to go back and highlight everything. Yeah, let's just do something like that. Right here. Why not? Close this off. doing is basically you're just blocking in with some dark color we'll go back and highlight it and you're getting some texture on here which will help with your highlights when you pull off okay and since we put that nice blue in from the sky you have some some nice undertone underneath this that's pretty nice also okay maybe I'll go a little bit higher with this just a little bit higher Okay, let's go ahead and put in a tree trunk. I'm gonna grab some of this white. I'm gonna put that there, some of that type brown on there. Get a nice marble color. And just put in a nice little little trunk here, maybe a trunk there, trunk there, okay, and grab some little scratches, you're going to use the tip of your knife right here and you can get some nice scratches, and just throw them in there.
It'll give you some quick twigs right now, which we'll go over with some highlights, and then we'll go back and use the liner brush. So this will give you some nice little background. That's it. All right, so let me uh, wipe this knife off and we'll go ahead and get some highlighting done. We get another another one one inch brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my highlighting stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this yellow. I'm gonna take a touch of that green. It makes a nice nice green color. Now this paint's really thick, so what we need to do is basically thin it out with some of that liquid white. And while I do that, it's going to change the color. So you want a little bit, if you want a little bit more green in there, throw it in. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually pulls up some texture. And it kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. You come up here and you just softly put them in. And I still need more of this liquid stuff here and it's just a little too thick. There. there we go, pulling off nicely. And all it is is just a real soft touch. but it just pulls real nice. Just like that, real nice. Let's go ahead and change some of that flavor, put some yellow ochre in there. Add more of this liquid in here. That's basically it. I mean, it's just when you're doing the highlights, you got to be kind of soft with it, and it'll just pull off. Get a little bit more. And that's it. I mean, as you can tell, it just pulls off. It does its own little thing. liquid stuff. Get some nice greens. That's it. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back and just hide a little bit with some white. Let me clean this brush here. I have a lot of paints. It's gonna take me just a second to get rid of all this. I'm gonna go back and highlight real quick with some white. I'm gonna thin this out, this white paint over here again. Same motion as before, no difference. Okay. So the sun is coming from this direction. We've highlighted on the right side, we've done the shadows on the left. Okay. So we're gonna highlight the right side of this tree a little bit, a little bit better here. 
but just not a lot. Just here, there. Okay, but as you can see, it kind of pops things out a little bit better, so that's why I wanted to do it. Add a little bit of this yellow to it. too much with this stuff because it will really overdo your painting if you're not careful okay this uh, same little mixture right here. Actually, I'll go into this brown right here, I think, and try to mix it twice. We'll see what comes up. Sometimes you have to like fiddle with it and find out what's well, gonna be working for you or not. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. So I'll use, I'm gonna use some white, that little liquid white. Maybe a touch of this Lism Prism since I really haven't used it. We'll make this a lens with a little pink color and that will stick out. And just come in and put in some extra little twiggies. You know? So little details like this that really get your painting selling and you being very successful and that's the whole point of this. Just find find these little spots. Preferably, if you go in the dark, it'll really pop it out. So find some spots in the dark. And we'll just give you some extra little detail and you really haven't done much. And before, remember, we scratched in some stuff. So you already have some stuff there, which is pretty cool. You don't have to do too much. I'm gonna go ahead and clean. And I just want some dark twigs, so I'm gonna go up into this dark color right here. And put in some little dark twiggies. Guys, some stuff over here. Yeah, think of nature. Nothing's nothing really concrete. Okay. You know what? Why don't we just go ahead and put in a little couple little flowers? Why not? Little spots using that same number two liner. And I'm just gonna come in and put a little, little flower right there. And another one right here. One more. A couple little dots. Okay, go ahead and sign this. I'm just using that liquid white, same white medium. Just 
why it's pretty good sometimes. off yeah it's just a basic basic paint it doesn't take much not a lot of equipment not a lot of paint i still have a ton of paint even left over i've actually wasted paint which is usually pretty common to be honest with you but anybody can do this it's really not that hard you just gotta basically just open up that door tell that fear to go away open up that door to creativity and it's right here I really want to thank you for joining and, um, you know, checking me out on the show. And I'm going to try to do one of these paintings each week and put one out. And hopefully I can get somebody encouraged to get some equipment and follow along. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I know there's people with disabilities out there, but if you can hold a brush, you can do this. And I'm a nobody. So my motto is, if Mike can do it, so can you. I wish you the best. Please stay safe and healthy and stay classy, thank you.